All right, everybody. I am Chris, and this is Harry. Harry, and we <laughs> we are here at Titleist Manchester Lane facility today to yes, sir. do a little uh, experimentation, figure out what's the deal with dimples. What do we know about dimples, Harry? I know that they matter. So, but do they? But they do. We are testing dimpleless, dimpleless versus dimples, and why do they matter? I have a feeling they might matter. We're about to find out. All right, we're gonna hit my gamer right now, which is the Provy one left up. I'm gonna be looking in around about 12 degrees of launch, spinning it 23 to 28, when I, depending on my miss. And because I know this combo and this ball, it's about three to 400 revolutions of difference. Okay. At least that's a theory, boys and girls. There we'll we see go. what happens. That was hit pretty good. Yeah, that was the best one so far. But I, what I just like about the left dot is it just, it just goes up and it doesn't seem to go up and then come down like that. It that was not keep spinning. going a little bit. All right, so now we got a little baseline info about 180 ball speed, mid 2000 spin, 300 to 310 carry. And we're gonna change it up on Harry here a little bit. I'm gonna give him one of these. All right, so we got a dimpleless golf ball, same exact ball as Titles Pro V1. It is a Pro V1. The only difference is that it has no dimples on it. So, uh, see what happens this here. This is gonna be interesting. What do you think, Harry? What, uh, um, I any honestly, predictions? I honestly don't know. Um, if it just looks like it's gonna be firm, I don't know why, but like it just looks a, like it's gonna like crack Like you're hitting my, a billiard ball. Yeah, it's gonna crack my face and it's just gonna hurt my hands. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but let's, let's see. Yep. Yep. Knuckle. Knuckle. So it's got some roll out though. It did. <laughs> but not it's just one of those. <laughs> I did, I'm hitting up as much as I can on it, and it's just not even have a chance to get up in that air. No, it's, it's not just going. literally there is no lift and there's no drag to get that ball up in the air like a plane and start taking off. It is just straight through it. Frustrating because that was a good hit. So we saw what the uh, the billiard ball yep. did. No dimples on that one. It flew, you know, uh, just kind of knuckled out there. Didn't go very far. Yep. Nose dive. So now I'm going to give you one of these, Harry. So we got half and half. So half dimples and uh, no dimples on the other half. So same exact thing. Pro V1 golf ball. Construction the same. Material the same. Everything else is exactly the same. Other than the dimple pattern. So for this first one, why don't you put the dimples facing away from you? Okay. So facing- What do you think it's gonna do? Facing to the right. I think- Do you think it's gonna be like I a think it's ball? gonna curve one direction or the other. I'm just not sure which one. So if I'm thinking about like a mud ball, uh -huh. if the mud is on the right side, it's gonna go left. Correct. So, so the dimples are on the right. So I guess it's gonna go left? One way to find out. Oh, that did not go left. That hit the fence. <laughs> that did yeah, that not hit the fence. Go, that, did, that thing went straight. That spin access must have been nuts. And that took a right hand yeah, oh turn. Yeah. That nearly hit a car over there. <laughs> or maybe the uh, mm. the shed. What, what spin <laughs> access do we have on that? Just over 3,000 RPM to spin, 170 mile an hour ball speed. Did pick up the carry. 167. 167. <laughs> Nailed it. So that's a nice nine iron for you. Nailed it. Yeah. All right. Let's do. Uh, let's do that again. Now, obviously, we'll go, we had we'll go dimples towards me. Let's right? go dimples to the left. Yeah, towards you. All and right, it should me. should do the opposite, right? Well, but, uh, if that's the case, it should go left now. Right. There is. Okay. I think those guys are safe on the left. Uh. Maybe not. I don't know. One way to find out. Oh <laughs> my God. I mean, it that goes so severe. It goes like straight for about 70 yards and then and it throws on a, its blinker and it just, that is just, it just oh dies. My God. I've done one shot like that before. I was very hung over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I've not been, that's ridiculous. So now Harry, we, uh, Done with that experiment. <laughs> yeah, I got that was an experiment. <laughs> that was an experiment. Um, got five other golf balls here for you. You'll notice 
that on one side it has an elephant and on the other side it has a donkey. And we're gonna see if we can understand kind of what the differences are there. Now, all I'm gonna tell you is that on half of the ball, the, uh, the depth of the dimples themselves are one value. And then on the other half of the ball, the depth of the dimples is a different value. And that difference in depth is basically one one thousandth of an inch, which is it's more or hair. less. How'd it's you human, know? Cause I'm smart. Golly, it is the width of a human hair. Yep. So um, see what difference that makes. So yeah, that's, I mean, you wouldn't think it did, would do anything, right? The width of a human hair. A I mean, human hair. like that, mm -hmm. nothing. Nothing. Thanks, thanks for that, that was not painful. Yep. All right, we're gonna do elephant up. Okay, elephant up. Elephant up. Elephant up and down range. Yeah, so arrow pointed down range, and this is uh, elephant on top. All right, so I'm hoping I'm gonna hit my window of about 10 to 12 degrees and in around 12, 22 to 2600. Oh, Ooh. what did that do? Uh, that went way right, like hard right. That's probably 50, 60 yards offline right. Maybe more. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what numbers did we get? Right. <laughs> Just didn't even, it was so far right, we couldn't even pick it up. All right, so I'm gonna do donkey down the. Okay, so now we'll go donkey down the fairway. Donkey down the fairway. Yep. Uh, so in, Theory, this should be going left. We shall see. All right, everyone's clear. Right, Trying to hit my normal launch window. Yep. Wow. Okay, that's easily 50, 60 yards left of target, right? Yeah, I hit the green over there. Though. <laughs> you, did, was, you did hit the green. It was only 50, 60 yards off target. So between those two, it's a probably about 120 yards of difference, maybe. Maybe more. Oh, it's probably 150 looking at it. Yeah, I mean, it's at least 120, 150 yards of difference. And again- Just the, because of a human hair dimple. One one hundredth of, of an inch. Of an inch of difference in, in dimple- Depth. Depth. There you go. Try and say that when you're drunk. Right, <laughs> good <laughs> luck, good luck. All right, Harry, so we started this uh, little test here with a question, do dimples, matter short answer is uh yeah apparently so um <laughs> we, what did you see like, very what, much they what uh, were your biggest takeaways what did you notice the one that really interested to me is the hair um for the the depth of dimples can make an absolutely huge difference so think about it as a paint if you paint one side a little bit too much just that human hair like of a width it can throw that ball off so drastic that right. it's absolutely crazy to yeah. even believe. I don't think it's surprising to anybody to go, oh my gosh, dimples matter, right? Because, but you don't know what it does yeah. without it. And then even, like I said, even the slightest difference in manufacturing tolerances, construction, etc. As we saw, it can have really, really drastic impacts uh, mm -hmm. or drastic you know, changes in outcomes of different golf shots and yeah. and that's something that you know we'll probably explore more later in articles and details but for now um aerodynamics dimples they matter they matter yeah they matter they matter